through. But yeah, but hey, a, this morning a damn start to the day, right? but it looked at like it ended up getting to be it's pretty It's incredible. Nice. Just over the last, you know, since we started the newscast at 4 o'clock, mm -hmm. the skies have cleared remarkably. In fact, take a yeah. look at, well, right as I say that, the clouds <laughs> right go, what? Right no. Sorry, just kidding. Nah, yeah, this is what it looks like right now in Atlantic City, <laughs> where earlier we had the clear sky, but look at Bethlehem. We had absolutely no shadowing at all, or no sunlight, I should say. Same thing, no, no shadows from the sun. And now we got a lot of sun. Look at this Monday evening headlines. Our live camera here in Philadelphia. Beautiful, beautiful sunshine. So clouds continue to break. Showers will end tonight. The few of you that still have some showers. And this is a fantastic end to summer. And I say that because fall, it's still technically summer. Fall officially beginning Saturday at 2.49 a.m. And we are tracking weekend chances. Something we're watching pretty closely because between now and then we don't have rain, but I want you to stay tuned this week because the weekend could be very different depending on which model ends up verifying. I'll show you one in just a moment. 72 degrees here in Philly at this hour, 68 in Trenton. What a gorgeous evening to spend some time outside. Humidity levels dropping, just a kiss of humidity in many spots, generally upper 60s, low 70s, and that's where we're going to be over the next hour or two, and then we'll see those temperatures drop on down as our skies continue to clear out. Some lingering showers back to the west, you folks around Lancaster County. You had that one lone cell just outside over Harrisburg. It's dying down now, but could be a lone shower for you folks. The big picture shows the area of low pressure responsible for all this. Yesterday we had the rain, today, this morning the rain. That's moving out, and so we go to the center part of the country and talk about this high pressure cell. This is what's going to be our dominant weather feature, and notice we don't have any storm risk up and down essentially the eastern seaboard over the next couple of days. This takes us all the way through Wednesday. So for tonight, our story is the cool and the clear. 57 degrees. You do not need your air conditioner tonight. Some patchy, foggy spots, but not anything dense. Tomorrow, mid 70s with a lot of sunshine. What a gorgeous day. Humidity levels are low. A little breezy tomorrow, but no weather related problems for you tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I want to talk about the weekend for just a moment. Temperatures will drop. And we're going to put showers possible Saturday. Same thing, chance of shower Sunday. There's an area of low pressure that we're going to watch very closely. I want to show you the more aggressive of the model. So Saturday morning, we start out with a lot of clouds. Get your stuff done early because watch what happens. By noon, we start tracking some rain. By the afternoon and evening, we're watching some heavy rain working up into our area, and that'll be around all Saturday night. That's one model. The other primary model we look at, completely dry. So it certainly bears watching, and I'll update you as we go through the week. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, sir.